announced that uh, our TV camera is on, so the folks who might be interested in seeing this would be able to do so on a Monday evening at 7.30. That's our prime time, look at time and location, Comcast Channel 17. We're on each Monday night, I do believe. And I was speaking that International Academy has certainly taken an active role with this organization, providing opportunities for uh, special Peace Day projects uh, up and down Saginaw Street. We've done some beautification things. Just to host itself, we enjoy working with them. The University of Michigan is there right now their focal point for uh, their priest celebration honoring a peacemaker of the year and uh, some projects and activities that have occurred. My very dutiful friend, Paul Herring, who we all know and love, as everybody boos in uniform. <laughs> That's my bud. That's my bud. Paul's my bud. And I got a new buddy here, okay? How you doing? You're so cool, I don't even know who you are. Now I do know who can Thank you. Well, tell us, we're on WFLT 1420 AM. You're on Comcast Channel 17, so. You were very instrumental in kind of putting this together today. So talk to the folks about what you did, what you're doing, and what's happening in there. This is the this is live radio, and of course that's delayed broadcast TV. So it's yours. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm with the Genesee County Human Trafficking Task Force, the Public um, Awareness Committee. Jay Camaraderie, she's the head of it. She was over there briefly. <laughs> okay. Um, I have just a small part of it. Savita Tamala. Um, the Janet and yes. Jane, they are the co-chairs yes. of it, yes. um, of the Genesee County, I'm sorry, the GCCP, which is um, put together this peace committee. The Genesee County um, Human Trafficking Task Force just plays a small part of it, and so uh, several of our committee members are on the other committee as well. Okay. Um, with the Genesee County Human Trafficking Task Force, we make um, people aware of human trafficking Absolutely. and what's going on in our particular area. We actually get to the, you know, the grassroots where we go to different universities and teach the students, um, the medical students, the nurses, of what to look for, you know, um, and how to deal with, you know, human trafficking and make people aware of it. I think there's been since um, we've been founded at least a 50% increase in the past three years, if I'm not mistaken, of people reporting human trafficking. Um, a lot of people think that this is like an international instead of home, but because we are in the area that we are, particularly Detroit, and with the different activities, such as the games and so forth, that increases the human trafficking, um, as well as us being, you know, like a port, you know, near um, Canada and so forth. So, as I said, you know, we, we distribute information, and we have such hard workers that, you know, put in so much time. Um, oh, my gosh. I don't, I have the Genesee County Human Trafficking Task Force, but I don't have the phone number on hand. I apologize for that, because our stickers are at the table. Okay. Um, and again, well, the why don't you run and get him? I'll get one. Okay. I'll get one. Paul, Paul can find his way in the room. Okay. Go through a door, Paul. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I have it on my phone. Oh, it's live, so. Yeah, we're very yeah. live. Yeah, we're very live, so. I want another thing to say, but this is my first year of really getting involved with the um, the Peace Day, and I, like I said, I love the commitment that everyone has put forth, the efforts. Um, as I said, I just made a, um, a small part with my, um, of impact, and we just presented the prizes and smiled. <laughs> it looked decent, so. That's All right, this looks like your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> no. The national. He, he always gets me, Pete. He always gets me, all the time. Go ahead. Honey. Okay. The National Human Trafficking Resource Center phone number is one eight 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 three seven three seven eight eight eight, and you can also text as well. And thank you, guys. Of course. Very good. Serious issue, and you handle it very well. And would you ever consider coming to our high school and talking about that? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Because we're a K-12 charter school. If you'd like to join us, I can certainly make an arrangement for that. I know some of the people that work at the school. Thank you for the courtesy, and we'll try to talk with you later. Okay. Can I please have Thank your you card very. before you leave? Here? Yes, sir. Thank you okay. very kindly. Okay. Wow, very informative. Thank you so much. Yeah, our, uh, our kids, um, you know, I think they hear the term human trafficking. I don't know if they really truthfully understand it. And I think this might be a kind of a high opening um, presentation that she might make. So, Paul, you keep me reminded, please, my good friend, that uh, I need to do that. See if our school will allow them to come in, and I'm sure we will. Why me? Why not the people in your basement? Well, I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got me 
again. That's two for Paul, zero for Art. I'm going to catch up, audience. I'm going to catch up. Okay. And speaking of catching up, i got to catch up with a gentleman that's going to approach our, our radio program right now. This is Pete Hutchinson. We've known each other since 1843. So, <laughs> Pete is so good. Come on in and take your, get on the camera here. Pete, uh, you did a great uh, key, uh, key address this afternoon, or this morning, I should say. And why don't you introduce folks to the fact you work with you about and uh, some of the things that you've done very quickly so that folks have a feel for you. I'm sure that some in the audience already recognize your name. So Pete, talk to us a little bit about today as well as some of the things you've done with youth empowerment. That was a fascinating speech you gave, sir, by the way. And I'm going to help you. this young man get his... Well, he's very good, sir. You did good. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, we're out in the hallway and we're having some food here, so there's little traffic going on. Not human traffic, <laughs> but food traffic, and that's okay. Pete here, take my mic, buddy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Art. And Art could absolutely be doing this speech as well as I. As he said, 1843. I didn't realize it was that long ago. And equally impressive in his work is Paul, the cameraman, mm -hmm. who uh, brings us Juneteenth every year and brings peace to the community through that. Indeed. So it's an honor to, to be with the both of you to do this. The honor is ours, sir. Yeah. Um, I'm very proud of the work that we've done through the university in terms of working with young people. Uh, we have been doing Youth Empowerment Solutions, which is a program where we teach kids leadership. We give them the skills to be engaged in the community with the adults uh, so that they can do community work and community projects. And we found that they get less involved with violence because they're taking ownership of the community. We are also part of the Youth Violence Prevention Center, uh, which we're very proud of that work. We've done it for 10 years. We've worked in Paul's neighborhood, uh, this most late, recently, uh, with help from him. To We've had success in driving down the rates of youth violence, and what we found through that, what we found through that was that when the young people were involved in blight elimination through the Clean and Green program, the rate of violence dropped around those areas. So we are now just got uh, funding to do another youth violence prevention with Youngstown, Ohio and Camden, New Jersey, where that's what we're going to focus on. Engaging pe young people in blight elimination in their communities so that they'll get engaged in work in the neighborhoods and in the communities. Uh, so we're also doing some work, we just got funded to do some work in the schools uh, to work with mental health teams to help identify those young people who are struggling early on and give them the help they need to be lifted out. Okay. So we're doing some nice things I believe and I think we're making an impact. Okay. Very good. Pete, thank you. Now, I just uh, talked with the young lady that left here about coming to our school. Would you be willing as well? To come Absolutely. To We've got a great, great, great student life organization. And it actually goes kindergarten through grade 12. Of course, naturally with the little ones, it takes another twist. But we do, we emphasize volunteering at our school. And our kids are ringing bells for the Salvation Army, doing cleanups, uh, mowing lawns, that sort of thing that fits, I think, almost absolutely key with where you are. Yes. Let's talk a little bit, even yet today, about how we might bring you into this. Okay. Okay. So, Pete, thank you so much. You, you, you've been a great stalwart for absolute years. And uh, I kid about the years that we uh, started. No, you don't. It was probably the 1600s. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. So, Art, Paul, thank you, thank you very thank much. You. What a great friendship. Thank you, sir. Right, right. Janet, get over here. How you doing, girl? Good. <laughs> See, good. Very good. This is the chairperson of this organization. Janet, come on, tell folks, uh, you know, of course, you're the chairperson, how that emanated so that you were selected into this role, and then also uh, maybe the purpose of today. Would that be helpful for you? And this is a radio audience on WFLT, 1420 AM. Folks, don't call in because I'm live at the University of Michigan right now. We hold your calls till next week. Then I'll have Janet come and she'll take the whole 30-minute program. It's yours, <laughs> Janet, hit it. Um, how, did I, how did I become part of the committee or how I became the chair? Well, the chair was more or less, you know, we drew, we drew straws and I got the straw. No, 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 no. Um, Mr. Meaton. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I got three of you. Right. Okay. I hung in there, and um, they knew that I was passionate about the peace work that they do in the Genesee County area. So they asked me to become a larger part, a larger component, and serve as the chairperson for 2015, which I graciously accepted. And it's been a wonderful journey um, with wonderful people, a uh, wonderful committee, um, and just wonderful work. And I'm glad to be part of the work. We have three different initiatives that we take on um, each year, and those being beautification, education, and celebration. And I think that we've been successful in each of those areas this year. Um, we did beautification on the corner of Alma and Martin Luther King. And then we did our education with youth over at the Kennedy Center on the corner of uh, Fleming and West Pearson Road. And today we celebrate. And um, I might have played a larger role in those first two, but this one is so beyond my... <laughs> the, the celebration, if you've never come, um, I, I urge you to come next year when we put it on because it is such a great event. You meet so many people that are like-minded, like-spirited, and like-hearted that share the same work as you. And I invite you to come out next year and share in the celebration of peace. Okay. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you. <laughs> How long are they going to be here today? Uh, well, we'll be here to Till noon. Noonish? Till noon and noon. Then we're going to have a little fat. I can smell the pizza right now over here for the kids and the others that are gathered. Jan, thank you very You're much. Welcome. I, I stepped away because I was trying to recruit another speaker. So thank I you. I hear all thank that you. you heard. Well, thank you for being successful in that and, and getting another speaker. Oh. So now oh, that we, I might oh, we have make one. my way yes. off. There you go. Oh, my. Look who I see. Get uh, over here, girl. How you doing? Oh, Cleora, it's been so long. Good to see you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Cleora McGee is with us, my friends. And Cleora is well known in the city of Flint. We're on WFLT 1420 AM live, Cleora. Good morning, everyone. And here you go. That This is the live radio. That's the delay broadcast. So you can hold this microphone and maybe tell us, uh, you've been with this group quite a while. Can you give a little history? Would that be okay to do? Well, as a matter of fact, I've been with the group, uh, um, I, I served with the group uh, years ago uh, when uh, the organization first started. We used to meet uh, where I worked at City Hall. We would start the program with prayers in the morning uh, at City Hall, mm -hmm. and then we would march uh, over to U of M, um, and we had great uh, speakers and a great program and it is continuing today with the same efforts. Um, I think it's great that we, we can meet here at, um, at uh, the University of Michigan where the statue of Mahatma Gami is and uh, can share in Peace Day. And so it's been a great effort and um, I have really enjoyed the program today. And how do you like retirement by the way? Well, I love retirement. Uh, however, I've been very busy. <laughs> I know you are. That's why I said that. Okay. <laughs> and so, um, since you've given me this opportunity, I do have to uh, say something about our uh, Charter Review Commission. Since yes, you give me the opportunity, do it, do it, do it. We're inviting people to take a look at our charter. We want to invite people to have input. So if you go online at the City of Flint, there's a survey that you can fill out and give us okay. your information. Give us your input on how you want the charter to be written, what you want to see. Just go online and look for Charter Review Commission. Okay. Well, I'll commercial for the city. I'm going to charge it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to leave? I suppose you want to get back to your grandchildren. There, there. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. So good to see you again. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Of course. Yeah. Jane, pop in here, girl. How you doing? Good. Got her tiger outfit on here. Wow. Well, how you doing? Good to see you. And who's that next to you? It's Diane. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Jane, you were kind of running things here today for a while, and I'm sorry to pull you off because they're having a song right now. But um, tell us a little bit about um, your involvement here as a young person. Please go ahead. Hello, I'm Jane Starzik, and I'm a member of the Genesee County Committee for Community Peace. I'm actually a co-chair this year. And today our presentation here at U of M, we had a Peacemaker of the Year Award. Our keynote speaker was Pete Hutchinson. Uh, as far as the community efforts and empowerment programs here in the community. And our Peacemaker of the Year Award goes to Dr. Elizabeth Calardi and Mr. Tim Calardi. And their Peace Crane Project is well known in our community as well as all over the country and world. 
one of the initiatives that we're doing in Community Peace, a lot of the things we're doing beautification projects, uh, some of them in the community with the International School. We also have done on the Martin Luther King and Elma, a peace garden, which represents the peace initiative of nonviolence in a, a peaceful place in the inner city of Flint. And today with our presentation, our award certifications, is also to promote peace in the community, to get different people together. There was song and dance, which right now they're singing songs of peace before they get their pizza. So a little bit of Thanksgiving ahead of time here in Flint. So thanks for your commitment. Anyone interested can check uh, with information that we have out there with the Genesee County Committee for Community Peace, if you know any of the members. Otherwise, Art Winslow is a good connection for us, so you can check with Art. So thanks for your commitment. and. Remember, be the change you want to see in the world and be part of peace here in Flint. Who said that? Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you, Sister Jane. Very nice of you. They're singing about peace inside. They're going to come out here and get a piece of pizza. That's what's going to happen. Here. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you. We have, uh, oh, just one of the original people, right? Weren't you the originals? I think so. Okay. And uh, she's a famous TV personality because she was on Don, Don Jones's uh, noon program, and I remember her quite well because again I was sitting next to her at that time. But Sarah Jova, Sarah Jova is with a um, a, a church. Uh, it's a, actually it's a mission. It's a um, what's the right word? Mission. My mission. Mission is the right word to use. Okay, and that's in Flint Township. There's a lot of members of that organization that are part of the Tennessee County Community for Community Peace. Why don't you talk about the relationship, if you don't mind, between the mission and what is it happening here right now. So please, if you would. Thank you. Thank you, Art. Yes, uh, we have what Indian uh, committee is called Chinmaya Mission Flint. We have a humanitarian committee in that in my mission. So from the humanitarian committee, this peace committee developed. So we wanted to do the service in the community and spread the peace and teach the children and the neighborhood and uh, spread the peace. That's the whole idea. And uh, so we started the peace and we have been doing things in the community and uh, trying to do every year we do the Gandhi birthday October 2nd around that time we do the peace day event in which we want the community to come and enjoy the day with us. Yes, and very good. Now also maybe mention briefly the essay contest and the art projects that you have that yes, just, every, just occurred. Yeah. Right. Every, this year we participated in the children's art contest, what they think of peace means, what it means to them, and they drew and did that competition, and it's very nice to see how the children uh, think of what they think of the peace, and um, we also, every year we do different things, we have been doing in the past, um, uh, essay contest in schools, different grades and levels. So that way we are encouraging the children to think about peace, what the peace is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, oh, of course, such a pleasure. Yeah, I think folks have to have an understanding of the connection, and that's really good. And it's going to get noisy here because uh, you're breaking up the inside, so we're going to get 10,000 people coming out here right now. But thank you so much. Thank you. It's uh, such an honor to be a friend of you. Thank you. That's such an honor. Okay. We're about 10 minutes away from closure, and it's going to get noisy, folks, so uh, I don't know what. We're doing the best we can. So, um, and again, this is a program sponsored by International Academy of Flint, where we, of course, have open enrollment. Which we are still considering. I know October is upon us, and we may have our children somewhere, and maybe something isn't working out right. But please do offer us your consideration. We are a well-ranked, highly, uh, I'm getting nudged here by somebody in a red coat, uh, a highly respected uh, charter school in Flint, and we look forward to <laughs> More people are approaching me. But International Academy of Flint, uh, 605,000, please call us. We can certainly enroll you immediately. Come on over Monday and we'll do our diagnostic test. The kids will. And then we'll place you uh, according to uh, performance of the test. So we'll place you in a grade. Of course, the child will not 
605,000. You call, I haul, that's all. We'll give you, I'd love to give you a short ball here in your bright new red coat. They like that, don't they? Uh, they're they're on your hunt. Fans? Yeah, yeah. Say something. Like, Listen, you've never I, done this I've got before. something I've got to say. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, we're getting ready to go to uh, Washington, D.C. Whoa! To the 20th anniversary of the Million Man Month. I don't want to stand too close to you because lightning, 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 lightning strike. Because okay. <laughs> like, if you were five, I, I wasn't even gleaming in my mother's eye. No, I wasn't. But uh, I'm encouraging anybody that attended the, uh, the uh, event 20 years ago to come back and go again. I don't have the, the number for the bus. Well, how many out of Flint, if you could even estimate it, how many Flintites went? I know, I know that we had two buses that left out. And that was just the million man organization that we had here in Flint at the time. So I don't know how many other buses left out. I do know that most of the folks that we were here are no longer here. Yeah, so we're getting a new group together, we got the kids going. Um, but there is a bus. There is a bus. I think it's like only 100 bucks. And it's a one day trip. Um, they can call me at 239 2901. I've got the information at the house. Um, and it can be a wonderful time. Men only. Sorry, ladies. Men only. Uh, I think they're trying to fill up their second bus. Their second, okay. yeah, their second bus. We're going to go a day in advance because we're going to do the media thing. And, and, and kick in the corner. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Trying to bring the event back to, uh, to Flint for those that yeah. couldn't go. I don't know what kind of coverage it's going to get on CNN or Fox News. Ha, ah, that was a joke. <laughs> well, this is going to be when now? Um, the event is October 10th. Washington, D.C. We're going to be leaving out here on the 8th and the 9th. Next Saturday, man. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Oh, I, we can, I wish I had a couple of last week. We could have given a couple of last week. Right, right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We get what we get. They're, they're going to be happy for it. But if you're interested in, in participating or going to this year's uh, Mean Man March 20th anniversary event, which is going to be uh, October 10th in Washington, D.C., you can give me a call at 239 2901, right? Okay. You remember okay. that one, Eric? I do. 239 2901. It's really easy. You'll leave Friday night then. Uh, I believe the bus will be leaving Friday afternoon. To get there in the morning, and then they'll, they'll leave that uh, the evening of the 10th. So we'll be back to on Friday. Oh, thank you. I just wish we could have announced this last week. I wish I would have remembered. <laughs> thank you, Paul. As always, been just on top of things. And uh, this is a great 20th anniversary. Paul, hard to believe. It really is. My goodness, I don't want to tell you. Being five, I have a marvelous memory of that event. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, folks, if you'd like to call our school at 605,000, please do so. Uh, we have about five minutes left on the radio, and people are eating pizza here right and left. And maybe we could call another guest, uh, Pete, if you could find one. That would be great. Uh, and Pete's going to go watch Pete. Uh, Paul, Paul's going wandering right now to try to find a guest for me. All right, uh, folks, we have our robotics program for those that are listening. Perhaps some of our parents have kids, middle school kids in the robotics program. Don't forget, we're meeting at 2 o'clock at... Um, uh, Kettering University, as we did last Tuesday as well. Our numbers have grown, so we appreciate that. And then I'd like to give the hats off to uh, uh, Pastor uh, Major Stewart, Pastor Dr. Major Stewart, who at 3 o'clock today will have a uh, book signing at uh, his church, of course, uh, about our Baptist church. Uh, and, uh, get to it all. It might not be the address, it's Kenilworth, but actually you get to it off 12th Street. Folks know that, I'm sure. So uh, at 3 o'clock, if you want to meet a real live Flint author and a wonderful man and great pastor, uh, please do come by at 3 o'clock this afternoon and uh, you'd be introduced to him and uh, there'll be a nice audience there, I'm sure, his congregation, primarily maybe, and uh, I'll be able to attend that as well. So we look forward to seeing you there if you can make it. Uh, congratulations to Dr. Major Stewart. It was a, a, just a fine man and a fine uh, book. I did take a quick look. Oh, Dr. Barnett, how are you doing, sir? Come on over, big guy. We have the Dean of uh, Humanities. Education. Uh, 
the Dean of Education and Human Services okay, thank you. at the University of Michigan. Right, right, we got that part. We're at U of M Flint, and uh, he introduced uh, a couple of folks today. So, Doctor, why don't you give us a quick analysis of your role here and what you did inside your live radio, your delayed broadcast TV, Channel 17. Well, we've got about two and a half minutes. Sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Doctor. My pleasure. Uh, it, it's our pleasure at University of Michigan Flint to partner with the community for the Peace Day celebration and for all the work that we do around the, the calendar year with the community, in the community. Peace and nonviolence is such an important part of the, uh, the fabric of the university um, and what we do with our community partners. And as I said this morning, the Mahogany statue outside is a great symbol of that intersection and that focus in terms of what we do. And so U of M Flint is really proud to be a partner with uh, Genesee County Committee on East, and we are ready to roll up our sleeves and do even more work. So it's a pleasure, uh, and it's an incredible event. And thanks for joining us and being part of it. Okay. Well, thank you, Doctor, and I'm with International Academy of Flint, and you do receive some of our kids as he walks away. Okay. <laughs> He's on the move. He's going to go doctoring. Well, anyway, uh, Let's T, you want to help me close off? I know Thompson, you. you know how we close off, don't you? Oh, yeah. Get a little loud and crazy. <laughs> uh, we've got our board president with us today. <laughs> uh, dressed in her prom outfit. <laughs> that would be a joke. <laughs> she was out walking. So, uh, Ms. T, glad to see you here. Diane Thompson, yeah. president of our board of education, or our board advisory board, excuse me. Yeah. And board member Dan Smith might be in the station, but I bet he's listening right now. But she called me saying, Where are you? Oh, from the radio, radio station. station. <laughs> so I'm going to have to advise him in advance and then when we do our live stuff from different locations. So we got about a minute to go. Miss T, you want to say hi to somebody? Oh, I just want to say hello to everyone and happy yeah. fall day because it's really cool. Also. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, just, said, um, just have a good day and blessings to all and peace, peace, peace. Okay. 30 seconds. Okay. We've got 30 seconds to go. And uh, thank you today. Everyone is doing fine. Thank you. Those daughters of yours are still loony? Oh, yeah, loony as ever. <laughs> yeah, I had them when I was at Flint Central High School. They were just chilly and screwy girls. And just great. Now i got to wrap up. Wherever you are, folks, if you are walking your dog, sitting at a TV station looking at a block, I always forget that. Or are you just sitting there in the fog? you got to look at somebody and say, hey, that International Academy of Flint. Woo! That's some kind of school. Bye.